Hi, in this lecture, we will make ourselves familiar with terminal. Okay. Now to open the terminal, you click to the top here, typing in terminal, and terminal show up here. Click to it. Okay, we have terminal now. I will zoom it and to show you more better, zoom it in. Okay. Bigger phone here. Okay. The first command I want to show the date command. It show you the current date time. Uh, it's quite handful, right? The second command is calendar. Calendar so the current month calendar if you do not have put any option so you show up the current month in case you want to show the current year just calendar dash y that's why here you can say it is an option additional option for Execute the command calendar, okay? Enter. And you see the whole year show up. It's interesting, right? Now the next command I want to show is command. It stands for manual page. So this command will show up in the terminal the document for the command. For example, I want to know how the calendar works. I will type in man calendar. And you see here the document for calendar. What is used for? Display a calendar and date of Eastern. Okay. A lot of options here, right? To quit the man, you just typing in Q, okay? That is very handful command to remind back to you if you do not remember how to use, okay? Any command. The next uh, thing I want to show is the history. So the history will show up to you all the executed command through time. Enter. You see here every command I already typing in and execute. It's helpful because um, sometimes you want to call back and I do not remember how to tie in a, a command. So that is useful. The final thing I want to show is clear. It will clean up the Zot terminal and everything clean again. Red rice. That is, hopefully you make yourself familiar with terminal by typing and see what happened in Zot terminal yourself. Okay. See you in the next lecture. Hello. In this section, we will be talking about the Linux file system. As you can see here from the image, uh, a really Linux file system start from root at a slot here. And below, you can see some folder like boot, which is contain all things needed for boot up system process user which is the, on the install the uh, software or library etc is for all the config file and especially is home folder which will contain all the user user data which is logged in for, into the system Right here, you can see the the data for Shu and Fred here. Okay. 
so this is a very lightly a tree and you can see uh, each, each node could have multiple try but uh, has only one parent and that's the way is how the file system is structured okay and, and now we could uh, have a questions how how we know uh, where a specific file or folder place for example how you know this image inside how I e folder inside picture inside shoe folder the lyrics have something called the path oh so this file will have will have path as I draw here start from root folder right here right I go to home and then I go to shoe directory and then go to picture and then Hawaii and finally is Emi's name that is so that is what we call the absolute path okay absolute path is a path to a file or directory which is we start from the root but have uh, another kind of path is called relative path for example if we currently we are here at the shoe folder we not need to come back to root but we can go from right here to the image so the relative part I could have here is picture now I don't do not need the root picture then Hawaii and then the image not zpeg so this is called the relative path it means it's not start from the root but start from somewhere in the inside the Linux file system okay um, another thing I want to introduce with you is in each inside each folder contain two hidden folder so for example the boot here will contain inside the dot and dot dot the dot will refer to the boot itself the dot dot will refer to its parent mean refer to the root so this kind of hidden folder exists in every directory or folder so I will show you later by command but that is that all we have uh, for Linux file system hello in this session I will introduce with you PWD command so when you open the terminal and inside the terminal you somewhere in file structure in file system structure uh, one question bring out is where you are currently the PWD command win pre now the absolute part of where you are so 
just chat, just simple. Enter. I currently at home and my home directory. So that is. See you in next lecture. Hello. In this lecture, we we talking about the ability to moving around the file system. So we do that by command cd. It stands for change directory. Okay. So I have some special directory we want to talking about. The first one is the root root directory. To move to root, you just uh, typing in cd slash slash main root. Okay. Now check again where we are currently. Pwd. Okay, we in root. The second directory is special we call home directory, where all the data is stored, like your download, your document on kind of your personal data okay to go to, to the home directory we type cd just that and enter now check it out pwd okay i back to my home directory the third special directory is called the parent directory now i am at home and my home so my parent directory will be slash home right so to go to my parent directory I'm typing in cd dot dot if you remember in the file system structure lecture i already talking about the hidden directory in every directory okay so dot dot mean you go go to parent of the current working directory enter now check it out pwd okay i'm at slash home so that is see you in the next lecture hello in this lecture i will talking about how we explore the file system the, the directory okay with cd command we know how to navigate through the system change to different directory but in this lecture we will show up what inside a directory the content of directory okay in order to do that we use command call list uh, ls like this one so if i do not put in any directory it will default show up the content of current directory so currently i am at my home you can see the small teeter here is mean I am at home okay now I show up the content of my home directory by common ls that is it shows the folder name the file name of all the visible object okay the first uh, option I want to talking about is uh, how we show all the hidden file folder. Uh, to show the hidden file folder, we use list minus a mean all. You can see uh, all the directory and folder start with dot here is listed out okay what is hidden folder when you click on gui 
here in my home in GUI you will not see any by default you will not see any hidden folder or directory yeah the second option I want to talk about is uh, L ls minus l l mean long and basically uh, is format the output so everything is organized in a way better to reading and much more information uh, let's try it enter so now I have much more information. The first thing here is about the permission. We will talk detail later in the permission part. Something here is like the size of the folder and size of the file. The time that most recent is, is updated. And finally, is the directory or the file name. Okay. The dash here, the dash here mean this is a file. The D D mean directory. So this is a directory. Okay. Um, by default. Uh, minus l will short our directory by name so you can see a b c d here okay but uh, sometime we want to short with uh, the modif modified time most recent update time uh, to do that we change we add one more option ls minus l and we want to short follow time up update okay with t now you see at the at the time here okay the most recent uh, folder file or folder we at the top most recent updated and on and on okay is what we expected another option to shorting is short with size so in order to short with size I using ls minus arrows and s capital s okay enter so what the largest shy file folder is at first you can see here okay another option is also quite helpful is to show sizing in the way that better for reading so ls minus l s means short with size and show the sizing in the human readable by h okay enter now you can see we is so after in kilobyte inside here it is much more convenient for us now we already could short by name short by up uh, update time and short by size uh, have one more option I want to talking about is after shot we we revert the shot it mean in here 
I in here the list command show up the last gist file first. But sometimes I want to show the last gist file at the bottom. So to do that, I use option minus L S uh, reverse lower case R is mean revert the short result. Okay, let's try it. You see the last is file and folder is come to bottom button bottom. This is convenient because sometimes a lot of file and folder inside directory and whenever we use list uh, with uh, long option is grown up is grown up okay that is so see you in the next lecture hi there in this lecture, I want to talk about a very useful feature of Terminal. It's called auto completion and auto suggestion. Okay. Now I prepare some folder name here at my desktop. So from my home folder, I want to go to my desktop CD desktop okay now what i want to do i want to change directory to this folder is name very long name folder so cd in to do that normally i go with cd and folder name right but to typing all of these things is is quite uncomfortable. So terminal have a feature called auto completion, and that means is is you have some suggestion about the name, uh, and click to tap button is win auto the remain for you for example i typing in vary here and click to tap you see the whole folder name is completed without i typing in every character enter that is so that is auto completion now i come back to my parent to the desktop the second feature uh, i want to show up is called auto suggestions you, you can see here we have two quite similar folder the same first part one and same first part two now if i type in cd and same and i click tap you can see the the same part the same part name is auto suggested for me and now my job is just decide to go to one or two okay now I want to go to one and enter. So that is remember the very useful feature from terminal is auto completion and auto suggestion with tab key. Okay. See you in the next lecture. Hi there. Welcome to hand on time. It means we 
we do some practice with what we already learned in the, this section okay so here is the deal we will use cd list and pwd command to go and explore the, our system and some of the directory quite interesting to looking at uh, etc valog bin user bin and then after that we go to home directory with different way okay so let's do that before uh, seeing uh, i working on the terminal please do it yourself first and see how it happened okay now first directory we go to etc cd space slash etc you can see the directory here start with slash mean is this is the absolute path okay is start from root enter now etc is a directory contain the all the configuration file for system so let's do just some list minus arrows okay this is the file inside etc and you could see the dot config file here okay now let's see what uh, what is the file most recently be updated so i put in list minus l and uh, sort by time right t enter okay you can see have a lot of file and i need to scroll it up the cup the cup file here okay but have another way is more convenient ls minus l t and revert the short result r okay what i'm looking for is at the bottom of the result so i just see it okay cool now the second directory we want to look is valog which is store the log file for various system program now from here i could cd i could do this right from here var lock okay minus l uh, okay let's see it this is all the log file we have inside var log so what is the biggest lock we have now let's try it down this minus l we want to short by size okay and also we want to revert the third result because i want to see the result at the bottom of the terminal so i put in r the path to the directory var log enter you can see here the kernel log, log. and the size is quite big so it's this is uh, not quite familiar because it's you need it to buy so i want something more convenient to read uh, one of the feature 
uh, other feature quite cool from terminal is to call the command you just do before you you can press in upper keys upper keys so i call the i call from the history the command i just do okay now i put in here additional option go h is mean human readable now enter so it's much more better right 822 kilobyte another directory i want to see now i move to that directory binary and basically it is location for commonly used program so let's list it out so something we see here like touch we will see uh, working with touch later okay move nano or editor make directory very familiar uh, very common program in here grab so we will go with all of this thing in the next lectures okay so that is now how i come back to my home with different method so the first method is uh, very easy cd just cd and enter i come back my home how i know i check it by pwd okay another way clearly is using my absolute part slash home turn pwd okay so that is hope you become familiar and confident with the cd pwd and this see you in the next section hi in this lecture we been talking about how to create a directory inside Linux system okay now let's go to desktop cd to desk tab you remember tab is fast way then not need to typing all the folder name okay enter now i am at the desktop list it out some example folder here okay now let's start to create a directory we use command called mkdir it stand for make directory okay now to create one directory new dir okay you see from the GUI here it's happen okay uh, how about i want to make a lot more at a time new dear one new dear two and new dear three you just use space here to separate the directory okay just enter yeah we have uh, three new dear here and another feature is quite powerful when we using terminal and command line is called get create a range now let's i demo make dear so if our directory name have a pattern for example new dear curly break i want to create the directory with range from 4 to 10 4 dot dot 10 okay what i expect here is new dear 4 to new dear 10 when we create okay enter 
you see 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it's very powerful you almost can do thousand of directory at a time okay uh, the final thing I want to say is about the make deer but uh, it inside another deer so let's create a new deer new deer 11 and inside is, is a new deer trail and inside is in, inside new deer trail is new deer 13 now let's try it and you can see here a message so that the new deer 11 is not yet created okay so it's not understand where is new deer 11 in order to do that kind of command you need a minus p here it's green check out if new deer 11 not yet exists it automatically create and then new deer 12 new deer 13 now enter okay you see 11 here now go in 12 and 13 right that is so i just talked with you about the making directory one at a time or multiple at a time or directory with path inside okay see you in the next lecture hi in this lecture we have been talking about the copy functions it is cp okay now in the desktop here i prepare some file and folder so the first task i will copy file one to file two okay you see it i am in desktop in the same directory with this file and folder so to do copy i typing in cp is stand for copy original file file one and destination file file two okay enter so you see the file to exist here okay have an option to show up uh, right from the terminal what happened with the command is called verbal it's been minus v here okay so you can see what happened right from the terminal that is And I will demo to you copy from file one to inside the folder one. Okay, I will delete this file. It's blank here, right? Okay. Now I want to copy original file file one to folder one and that is okay have an option to show up in the terminal and uh, you see here the result is file one go to photo one file one now let's check it out it's here okay another thing i want to show is a copy a directory inside to another directory right here in desktop I have folder 2 and inside folder 2 I have folder 3 okay I want to copy this folder 2 into the folder 1 so how I how I do that okay copies minus v as normal the short directory folder folder two inside to the folder 
one. Okay. To copy a directory inside to add directory, we need to use option minus uppercase R. It means recursively copy the original directory to the target directory. Okay. Now let's enter. You see here the folder two copy to inside folder one, folder two, and folder three also copy. It means the whole structure of the original directory is copied. Now let's check it out. Photo one, okay, inside the photo two, and inside photo two is photo three, okay. It's clear. Mm -hmm. Now we continue with uh, another thing we copy is called copy in update mode. Okay. Copy in update mode means the original file only replace to the target file if the original file newer than the target. Okay, or the target not yet exist. Okay, so I want to show you my original file here is file one, and a target file is in here. You copy into here. Now I make this file newer. So I add add some content. Okay, make this file newer save it okay now go to cd folder one list the long and to see the update time okay and go back to the desktop and listen along to see update time of file one in the desktop okay the file one inside the photo one already newer right now I try to copy file one to folder one file one okay I do not put in any option here it's going to replace as normal but if I put in here the option called minus u mean I want to copy in update mode now to see what happened minus v enter nothing happened why because my destination file is newer than my original file that's why it's do not replace okay so now let's make our original file is newer than my target file okay put in here hello one now let's do some listing to see okay it's it's newer okay now do copy copy you see the copy happen and now go to this file to see if it is updated with the content from original file okay hello born here 
so is work as expected right that is so to summarize in this lecture I already show you how to copy from file to file and rename it copy from file to a folder copy and tie a folder inside another folder and copy in the update mode that is so see you in the next lecture hello there in this lecture we will talking about moving and rename so we use command call mv it stand for move okay now the first thing I want to show you I move the file one into file three so it mean rename okay file one become file three enter so you see here the file tree show up and file one gone okay the second move i show you here is moving a file into a folder so i move um, file tree here inside folder one okay now move file tree inside to folder one I want to see what happened in my terminal by minus V okay enter now file tree already come to folder one file tree check it out cool okay uh, the third uh, thing I want to show is moving a directory inside another directory now suppose I create a new directory here, mkdir, folder tree. Okay. I want to move all the folder one inside the folder tree. So let's do it. Move. Minus V to show up what happened. Folder one inside the folder tree go now let's check it out okay everything from in folder one already moved to folder trees that is so it's quite simple but basically we use this command to rename or to move from this path to another path okay that is so uh, see you in the next lecture hi in this lecture i want to talking about the remove command and the first important thing to keep in mind when we use remove in Linux is as Linux don't have the trust to recover so if you do a common remove it mean gone completely gone okay so it's important to understand what we do before we do remove right now i want to try to remove this file file 2 here so typing in rm stand for remove and file name file true enter okay it gone now remove folder remove folder 3 okay it say that folder tree is a directory so to remove a directory we need an option minus r here it means recursive remove okay let's do it enter it's gone now i want 
to also remove folder three, but also want to know what happened. So I specify minus V mean verbals. Now enter. Okay, what is removed is listing here. So that is see you in the next lecture. Hello. Welcome to the Wildcard Lecture Game. Uh, as you know, the power, real power behind the command line is ability to working with multiple files or directory at a time. So Wildcard is feature which uh, allow command line doing that. Okay. And you can see here the wildcard is a set of character which allow us to represent multiple file name. Star represents zero or more character. The question mark represents a single character. And open uh, and close square bracket represent a ring of character. Now don't worry, I will show you in real now. Let's go to Ubuntu. I will use the var lock, the folder which contains the lock, or lock, system lock, app lock to show you. So we cd2 var lock. Okay. So for example, I want only the dot lock file. I can do with list uh -huh. mm. star dot log. So it means everything, every file folder which is and with dot log will show up. Okay. Uh, another example uh, I want to show only the log dot log file but with four character in a name right so one two three four each question mark is represent for one character so i have four question mark here dot log okay as expected now if i want to show only the log file which is start with a or k okay dot lock now after a or k it will be any character and end with dot lock enter so as you see the three five so here is as expected okay uh, now I want to copy all the dot log file to my desktop. Okay, now let's do that with one command. Copy star dot log to my home slash desktop. As you remember, the tutor small tutor here mean my home directory. And the desktop here is in my in my home. Okay, Just enter. So you see from GUI the desk the lock come up. Now CD back to my home desktop. Check it out from the command. Yeah, okay. Same with GUI. So now, for example, I have a, I create a, a log directory in my desktop, mkdir log. Okay. So how I can move all the log file into the log folder? I can do that with move star dot log into lock you remember the 
really cheap part here right because I am on desktop so I can see the log here I can use the really deep part so I just put the log folder here log folder name just enter so everything put in log now cd to log this it down so what if I want to remove all the log here so I just remove star dot log okay now check it out inside everything gone so that is the white card you can apply to many kind of command and it's very powerful so before doing with multiple file or folder you need to aware of what you want what is expected okay so that is see you in the next lecture hi there in this lecture i want to show you the file command one of the most used command in linux okay the file command provides the ability to searching for file or folder inside the file system to prepare for demo i create some I create folder here in my and my home. So inside the folder is folder one. Inside folder one is folder two. Inside folder two is the test not txt file. So in this terminal, I want to try to find out the test dot txt. Okay. Now let's do it. File the first input i want to sh show is a starting point where i want to start for fighting okay so i start from current directory is me in the tutor my home and what is the name of the file name i want to find out so it should be test.txt that is the two element. The first one is starting point of searching. And the second is the name of file. That is enter. Okay, you see, you find out here the thing, right? The second ability I want to show is after find out the file, you could delete it. So file steam from the my home with name test dot txt but after file i want to delete it so i dash delete is a delete option okay now try it enter now let's check is here is exist or not this nothing here so it's already delete right the third ability i want to show with file command is file folder or file directory okay here is we file for file to file folder very similar file from current directory name for example, I want to find for folder two here. Okay, folder two. But I need to put in one more option. Dash tie D. It means I want to find directory, not the file. Okay, now enter. You see, so also so up there, the hidden inside folder here. But what I want here is the folder two inside my home. Okay. And finally, I want to show 
the ability to find file based on modification time okay now I will use uh, CD lock here to show you because it contains a lot of file and directory inside okay enter this is our L A L T because I want to short with time okay so you see here the file and folder is short with time now suppose I want to file all the file from var log and with modification time less than 30 day 30 day so I want I want to put here the minus it means let modification time less than 30 days if I put in the plus mean more than 30 day okay I'll try to do it enter that is so uh, see you in the next lecture hi there in this lecture I will show you another command to uh, find out file or folder inside the file system is called locate locate is very fast and easy not to uh, scan the file system but it have its own DB to store the file path okay now to prepare for demo I have inside my my folder folder one folder two a file called test.txt you see here yes, right I want I will try to locate this file test.txt just put in the file name enter so you see here the result the first result is what I want the second result is so up because inside the absolute path contains the string test.txt so you can see it's very different with the file the way the file command work okay the first option I want to show is ability to count count the result so in Instead of so up the absolute part of result, I want to count how many result I have. Dash she allow me to do that. Okay. Enter. You see here two. Another option is ability to limit the result. So for example, I want only have one result. So dash L stand for limit one here so enter you see have one result so up only okay suppose i create a new file inside photo 2 here touch new test dot txt okay this is our okay two file so try to locate the new file locate new test dot txt so what happened here you do not see the result return okay as I mentioned before locate use its database to find out the file so if the database is not yet up to date with the file system the result will not show up so what I need to do I want to update my DB sudo update DB okay and now I can locate my new file that is you see here right so that is Locate is very fast and interestingly it have a drawback 
which is if the new file or folder not yet updated to db you could not locate and the file the file command is slower but because it scan the real file system so everything inside it can find out okay that is so based on your demand you choose locate or file is up to you okay see you in the next lecture hi there in this lecture i will show you how to view the file content with three command it is, it is um, cat hat and tail okay so to demo of this command i will use the log file in the file system so just go to cd2 var log okay for example i want to view the seed log so cat cat is a command to view the whole the whole content of a file okay seed log and it's been pre now at the terminal the whole file so you can see here it's quite long a lot of log have an option i want to show you is a ability to pre now the line number before the content okay now to do that we just uh, get seed lock but with option minus n so enter you can see here we have the line number before the real content right with the file very long like this sometimes we only care about the header of the file so in that case we, we can use the head command has to view only some line of the file at the header okay so you can see here the default is when so up the 10 10 line for from the beginning of the file okay have an option called interesting so you can show how many line you want so I put in here minus L it's number and number of line I want to show for example five space okay we show only five line first five line is to show up the some line at the end of file we use command called tail tail sys log and as default is also show up 10 line at the end okay also have option allow us to specify how many line we care about very similar to head command that is so remember we have cat for the all long file have tail and head for part of file head we view only some line at the beginning of a file and tail we view some line at the end of file that is see you in the next lecture hi there in this lecture i will show you the last command of command to view the content of text file but it's more feature and then cat head or tail okay now 
I'm at Valog. List is how to show what in here. So okay. Let's view the color with less. Less curl log. Okay. Enter. And you can see the content of curl log here. Right. So the first of all is navigate. To go up line by line, you press key up. To go down line by line, you just press key down. Yeah, one line at a time. Another option is go up and go down page by page. You go up one page with B, okay. Go down one page with space, 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 space. Go down one page, okay. B, go up one page. Mm, another interesting thing is you can go to the top of the log of the text file with G. Okay, G, you go to the top, top of the file. And go to the bottom of the file with capital G. Capital G. You see the N here is mean and file. Okay, I go back to top again with normal G. Okay. Uh, the final thing I want to show is ability to search. So basically you can search inside the text file which slash you shirt from top to bottom so I shirt for address string enter and what you see here is address, address string is highlight whenever it show up okay another option for shirt is shirt from bottom to bottom to up to search from bottom, you start with question mark and then the string to search. For example, I search for horse name. Let's see, result show up. So that is, see you in the next lecture. Hi, in this lecture we will be talking about the touch command. The touch command is used to create a empty file. Now let's do it. Touch and find one. Find name. Okay. Enter. You see the file show up here. Now I can see what inside by cat command. Files. Nothing. Okay. Just an empty file. Let this arrow. Okay. Um, one feature of touch is that if the file already exists, it will update the modified time. So you can see here the modified time is 7.22. I will touch it again. Touch file 1. Enter. This is our. So 7.33. 7.23, right? Is update the modified term. And another feature I want to talking about is touch uh, can create multiple file, a lot of file with one command. So touch file. I call this is the pattern, the ring. So you start a ring with open bracket and close a ring with close bracket and inside you specify the ring for name for example I start from one dot dot mean to 100 what happened here when I enter is green create a 100 file with file name from file 1 to file 100 
that's cool right now let's try it enter so you see a lot of files show up list is our okay so that is about using the ring to create multiple files at a time that is see you in the next lecture hi there in this lecture i want to show you the nano command a editor for lilas so i have a file here i want to edit it just put in nano test.txt okay now enter so i'm inside the editor put in some text moving the cursor by key up key down key left key right enter put in some new text here you want to save it with ctrl o okay ctrl o the file name will show up here so i still want to save with test.txt enter uh, in order to shoot a specific word, use Ctrl W. So put in the word. For example, I shoot for word. The cursor will move to the first file, the first item, the third file. Okay. Um, finally, to quit the nano, you just press in control x control x so that is we start edit with nano command test the file name editing something save with control l search with control w so for example search for hello and control x to exit that is so see you in the next lecture hello in this lecture i would like to show you the grab command the grab command allow us to search for string content inside file okay now to prepare for demo i create a file called demo file now let's see the content of this file cat demo file okay here is some content for demo only uh, the first thing i want to show is ability to search for a string grab the string this inside the file demo file so it have two input the string to shirt and file to shirt okay enter so you see here all the line which is contain this string will be show up in the result okay the second thing i want to show is ability to shirt for string inside multiple file now i copy demo file to demo file one now i have two file i grab the string this string inside all file which is start with demo so demo star it's a white card as we already talked about this enter and i have result from both file okay very powerful okay the third thing i want to show is the ability to shirt uh, but ignore the case you can see here in the content um, the this now contain the in uppercase and this now contain the in the lower case so i want both return to do that i grab the but i ignore the case by 
dash e inside the demo file okay you see the uppercase also return and lowercase of course and both upper and lower case so ignore the case the fourth thing I want to show is I believe to search for what okay for example I grab is inside demo file and you can see here the is here but this line also in include in the result because this this contain is right so this also what I want in the result is the, contain the is what only to do that I grab dash w enter w mean what so it return is here contains the is what only is what and is what and the final thing I want to say is about the ability to short wrap with regular expression so you can use regular expression inside the search string really grab for example lines dot star empty so i want to search for a line which is contain this string lines and follow that is any string and then empty okay inside the demo file enter so you see the return here it's what we want have a t here and lies here that is grab is very powerful and i just introduced with you some of its ability you can see the main page for grab by man go grab here have a lot a lot of option so that is see you in the next lecture hello there in this section we will be working with process uh, the first command i want to show you is the top command top top enter the top command showing in real time are which program or process consumes the most resource you can see here is uh, order by the CPU uses okay so what is the consuming the CPU here at the top is uh, how how long the system up and how many user log in how many tasks are running total I uh, have how many tasks and how many running how many in sleeping the CPU uses okay the memory so from this you have the overall view of how system work okay the second command I want to show is PS command PS dash EF will show you all the comma inside a system okay so very long for example I power on the Firefox I open the Firefox and now I want to check out the Firefox process by PS so PS dash EF and then I put the output of PS dash EF to the grab grab as you know is the filter command to shirt string inside text 
So I search for Firefox. Enter. So you see here, here's a, a Firefox. Firefox running with the PID is process ID here. Okay. One of the things that uh, many times you want to do is kill a process by on the ID. Okay. Now, for example, here I have uh, the Firefox running, right? And I'm going to try to kill to stop the Firefox with Q command. Q. And I put on the PID here copy paste now enter you see the Firefox is closed so that is the very simple but uh, most used command to to manage the process is tough PS and Q see you in the next lecture hi there in this section, I will show you the working with the network. Okay, the first command I want to show is if config. So typing in if config, enter. This command show up the network information, but normally we will focus on the the IP here. Okay. The second command I want to show is ping, ping a host to check if it is alive. For example, google.com. Okay, I know Google is alive because it's ping me back, answer me back. So to finish, control C. This command normally used to check if your host is alive, server host. Okay. The third command is when we want to download something and we have the link address, so we use wget. For example, here I have the link to a cat image. Copy this link, wget, and paste it here. Enter. See, it's download. Now, check it out in my home. Here, okay. Have a cat image show up. So, that is, I introduce with you three commands to working with network. If config, to find out IP address ping to check if the horse is alive and wget to download a file okay that is see you in the next lecture